This AP with APT Productions. I'm here with Jug today. What's Rocking good? How you doing boom. today? What's good? What's good? What's good? Jug on this bitch. And where you from? From North New Jersey. Where part of North from? I don't want to speak on that, but I'm just from North New Jersey. Yeah, okay. So are you from the North, the South, or? I'm from the Central World. Central World. Right. Yeah. How you get your name? Which one? Jug. Jug. My old hood. They gave me that show with some dumb shit. But I started really, you know what I'm saying, being what that name was about. I don't glorify it, but you know what I'm saying? Like, that's where my name came from and shit. I start calling my name, myself Jug Jug. I just took it and was like, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Since motherfuckers wanna call me Jug, I'm gonna make myself, I'm gonna make the name tough. Jug, you know what I'm saying? Really start jugging shit. One point in time, I was fucked up, so you know what I'm saying? I was, you know what I'm saying, doing what I had to do. Word up. And why you go by your Instagram name, Top Up Jug? Why you feel like you the Top Up? <laughs> it's a lot of niggas be dick sucking, bro, like, gangster. A lot of niggas just be, like, feeling like, like, you know what I'm saying? Just just because, like, you know what I'm saying, I'm, I'm better than them, you know what I'm saying? I know, I'm, it's not even no cocky shit, bro, like, just because they, they know I'm better than them and shit. They feel a need to just be envious and shit, you know what I'm saying? And, you know what I'm saying? Doing too much about it, you know what I'm saying? You know, you know, you know what it is, bro. Like, motherfuckers just be jealous and shit, bro. Most of my, like, enemies came from jealousy, you know what I'm saying? Like, it wasn't because I intentionally started with nobody, you know what I'm saying? Because I ain't that type of nigga, but if it's on, it's on. Like, you talking shit, I'm gonna talk my shit back. That's what it is. So now I'm a top pop, got a lot of enemies and shit, you know what I'm saying? I don't want my enemies, but fuck it. It is what it is. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? But enemies really, you know what I'm saying? Your haters really love you though at the same time. You know what I'm saying? Haters really love you. That's what motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? Niggas know that. Like, if a motherfucker hating on you, you know what I'm saying? If they if they putting all that energy on you, you know what I'm saying? They basically inspire and intrigued by you in some way. You know what I'm saying? Otherwise, they wouldn't be, you know what I'm saying? Projecting all that bad energy and shit on you. You know what I'm saying? Word up. And why you feel like people are jealous of you for? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a lot of things, you know, like, my talent, you know what I'm saying? My motherfucking talent, uh, my work ethic, you know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers just jealous of my sound, just like unique and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? A lot of motherfuckers, I could, I'm versatile, so a lot of motherfuckers try to like, you know what I'm saying, like, try to be versatile, and a lot of motherfuckers can't be versatile, which is like, a lot of motherfuckers not going to be able to do the same as, you know what I'm saying, everybody else, so I'm just happy, God bless me with the talent to be versatile and shit, you know what I'm saying, motherfuckers going to be envious, you know what I'm saying, so that's what it is, that's, ba that's basically what motherfuckers be jealous about, you know what I'm saying, and I feel like, you know what I'm saying, I'm just some handsome dude, bro, word up, you know what I'm saying, so like, God definitely blessed me, you know what I'm Word up. So like, how was your life growing up in Newark? You lived in Newark most of your life, all your life? Yeah, most of my life I lived in Newark. Word up, motherfucking half and half, like, you know what I'm saying, experience. It was bad and it was good, bro. I love my city, word up. A lot of good experiences, but a lot of bad experiences that taught me some shit, you know what I'm saying? So now I move, I move, I maneuver better in life and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Because of what I had to go through in my city. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, what I'm saying that is basically, like, just, like, I'm saying that basically, like, you just, like, you know what I'm saying? Basically, gotta stay to yourself, bro, like, you know what I'm saying? Because, Motherfuckers will close doors of opportunity for you, bro. Like, going back into the jealousy shit, bro. Like, you have the wrong motherfuckers around. You know what I'm saying? Shit will fuck up for you, bro. Like, with anything in life, bro. Like, you block your blessings having the wrong people around. Whether, whether it's a bitch, whether it's a wrong friend that showed you the wrong signs. You know what I'm saying? It varies, bro. But, you know what I'm trying to say? Like, so that's one of the lessons I learned. Like, can't have the wrong motherfuckers around, you know what I'm saying? Because it's gonna put 
more problems or more burdens and shit, bro. Like, so that's what I learned. That's one. That's one. One more fucking key thing I learned and shit from being in my city. But the good thing, you know, I grew up to a lot of block parties and shit around my way and shit like that. You know, motherfucking the schools I went to. Like, I went to schools all around the city and shit. Like, I went to the schools in the South Ward. I went to uh, Ivy Hill. That's not even the South Ward, but I went to uh, I went to Bergall for some time. Then that's on Wainwright over there by Wainwright. Then I went to uh, Speedway. I went all the way. I was going to school all around the city, so that's why I heads know me and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So it's not even from, from this rap shit. It's just cause niggas knew me. You know what I'm saying? Just going around the city and shit. Mm -hmm. Virtual. And what type of student were you in school? Did you end up graduating? Yeah, I, I graduated and shit. Word up. Uh, shit called Great Oaks. And like, would you say like you had like a lot of issues? Growing up, like, do like fake friends and stuff, like the way you're describing it? Yeah, a lot of that. Word up. I have fake friends. Motherfucking. Do you elaborate on that question? Like, you say you had like a lot of people jealous of you growing up, or you know, you had a lot Word. of issues. Was that family, dude, like fake friends? Word, family, I had jealous of me and shit like that. Fake friends and shit like that. I had homies rat on me and shit like that. I had homies slandering my name. Spreading lies and shit like that, hearing motherfuckers that I was cool with behind my back, you know what I'm saying? Spreading rumors and shit, so you know what I'm saying? I just cut ties, you know what I'm saying? Then that's what I do. The motherfuckers develop hatred because the motherfuckers was like, yo, like this nigga really start succeeding after, you know what I'm saying? He was just around us, he was just fucked up. He was just, you know what I'm saying? Doing what we was doing, so now he on some different shit, so now, you know what I'm saying? He's still doing this. So now we about to hate on him because this is what we want to do, you know what I'm saying? But just because we don't feel like doing it, got the energy and got the ethic, so I'm gonna hate on this nigga about it, try to bring him down. That's how the motherfuckers think. It's sad, you know what I'm saying, but that's reality and shit like that. What I'm saying that is like, motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying, what I think motherfuckers should be held accountable about that, but that's the other, that's off topic, but you know what I'm saying, but like, other than that, motherfuckers be hating. So if your homie hating and shit like that, you know what I'm saying, like, you know your homies hating and shit like that, Hold them accountable. Like, look, my nigga, like, we know you hating, my nigga, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, cut that shit out, because you fucking up your money doing that shit. You know what I'm saying? Back door homies, all types of shit. You're running deep, bro. So, fucking up your money, all types of shit. So, the hate shit, envy shit, run deep. You know what I'm saying? Niggas be fucking themselves over at the long run. You know what I'm saying? So, it makes you want to be selfish. You know what I'm saying? Word up. Make you want to be selfish. <laughs> So, when, like, when would you say you started making music? I started when I was little. That's why I'm so talented at it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really worked on this shit. Like, motherfucking, like, this shit, like, took time and motherfucking energy. You know what I'm saying? And hard work. You know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta really, like, sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Like, Motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? Like, motherfuckers who, like, just basically, it took a long time, basically, to get where I'm at, you know what I'm saying? So that's why I know that, you know what I'm saying? My talent, I got, my talent is unique, I'm word up. So, I was rapping when I was little and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Started rapping every time I got my ass whooped. Every time I got my ass whooped by my parents and shit like that. Go in my room, start writing and shit, hateful shit. <laughs> <laughs> Word up, but sometimes, but other than that, you know what I'm saying, positive shit, I was writing positive shit too, in class and shit, in school, I used to be motherfucking, having rap battles with motherfuckers, writing shit, dissing motherfuckers in class, so that's what, that's where, like, you know what I'm saying, it started, <laughs> dissing motherfuckers in class, we make diss songs about each other, like, every day we come to school with a different diss song about each other and shit like that, so that's when niggas, that's how I, I started rapping and shit, and then, like, I, I fell off and shit. But then motherfuckers, was, I was rapping, like, I have, I have, I'll be rapping in sites with the homies and shit like that. They be like, yo, you should rap, my nigga, like, you play, you playing, my nigga, all these niggas rapping and shit like that. You just, you just, you know what I'm saying, you playing around, nigga, you really got it. So I even really was trying to rap, you know what I'm saying, I just did it because, you know what I'm saying, motherfuckers was pushing me to, and then, you know, I believe not work, like, I don't, I don't believe working for motherfuckers, so this my, this my talent, and this is what I got, so that's why I'm gonna get a, you know what I'm saying, profit from it. You know what I'm saying? So it's not only about just rapping, you know what I'm saying? It's about having like longevity income type shit. Run deep.
Mm, where do you say like your motivation comes from? Got a lot of motivation. It's like you know what I'm saying. Uh, my pains, my struggles, and shit like that. Where I came from. You know what I'm saying. What I've been through. You know what I'm saying. The uh, the discredit, the overlook me. You know what I'm saying? How people overlook me and shit like that. So that's motivation. That's fueling the fire and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, basically, you know what I'm saying? All my, all my, my motherfucking pains and struggles and shit are motivations, bro. You know what I'm saying? Otherwise, without pain, without bad experience and shit, what would you learn? You know what I'm saying? What would that make of you? You know what I'm saying? So it's just all at the end trying to make me strong and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> Who are some of the artists that you listen to, like, growing up? Listen to... I listen to drill, a lot of motherfucking Chicago drill. Listen to L.A. Capone, Lil' Jojo. I started listening to Chief Keef. Motherfucking... I listen to Polo G. I like Youngboy. That's my one of my biggest inspirations yeah. and shit like that. Motherfucking... Uh, Lil Baby, Dirk. Got a lot of motherfucking, you know what I'm saying? People I listen to. I listen to rock. I listen to all types of genres and shit like that. So that's why, like, I, that's why I'm so good with the like the auto tune and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Because I listen to all types of melodies and yeah. music, and then you know what I'm saying? You got it in your head. You just throw it on the track and shit like that. So that's what it's about. You know what I'm saying? So I listen. You know what I'm saying? Everything. Grew up listening to everything. Rock music, all types of shit. Marilyn Manson, Gorillas. Motherfucking ACDC would portray me to be weird and shit I was listening to. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, you know. Girl. And, like, for someone that never heard your music, how would you describe, like, your style of music? Like, the type of music that you make? I make music for everybody. I make music for females. I make music. And then, look, that's the thing. I don't cap my music. All my experiences be real. You know what I'm saying? So, that's why I hit. So, I'll be talking about a real experience inside the song. And motherfuckers go through the same shit, you know, so. Motherfuckers connect and shit like that, you know? So, and I know how to put my words together and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? So, and when you, and it's all about truth and shit like that. Because when you, when you rapping and when you speaking your feelings, you get a different type of reaction out of that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. When you speaking something real, you get a different type of reaction out of that. Because people don't feel it. So it's real. A lot of my music be real. Whether I'm dissing somebody, whether it's negative, or whether it's positive, it was real. You know what I'm saying? Exaggerated a little bit, but it's real. All my shit be real. All experiences I've been through. Uh, how do you feel like people dissing, you know, people in songs? Like, like do you feel like that would have like a negative impact on your career, like Hell in yeah. the future? I do it for recreational shit, but. To be real, my nigga, yes, my nigga, like, fuck beef fucks up business, my nigga, so, you know, I don't want all this beef and shit like that, I don't, that's not what I'm looking for, you know what I'm saying, I just, you know what I'm saying, it comes with that, you just come with it, so you gotta be ready, you know what I'm saying, fuck it, like, it comes with it, you gotta be prepared, if you're not ready to take this type of position, then, you know what I'm saying, cause it's a doggy dog world, my nigga, so motherfuckers want your plate, so, you know what I'm saying? Can't let nothing take, nobody take shit from you. Not saying, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Motherfuckers won't attempt to. You know what I'm saying? But you gotta always be ready and shit like that. You gotta be ready. Always about being prepared about shit. You know what I'm saying? Being ready. You know what I'm saying? So, that's what it's about. But like, this song, it's overall, bro. That shit don't help. Beef is bad for business, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? I don't recommend it for the youngins. Like, I know a lot of youngins hopping on this drill shit and shit like that. But, you know... What you put in the airwaves eventually come back on you, son. You know what I'm saying? So, motherfuckers gotta be cautious of what they say in their music. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, shit do come back on you, bro. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm, a, I'm, a living, I'm a living testimony. You know what I'm saying? Word up. So, I said a lot of shit in my music. And a lot of shit happened after I started t making certain type of music. You know what I'm saying? So, this and all types of hardcore music, you know what I'm saying? It comes it comes with a price, bro. Like I said, you gotta be ready. Like I was saying, you gotta be ready, my nigga. Like, is this what you want? You know what I'm saying? 
is this that's the sacrifice you wanna take, my nigga? You wanna try to you wanna you wanna have your family, you know what I'm saying, be grieving over you because you wanna live, have a, a certain four years of fame, you know what I'm saying? Nah. You know what I'm saying? The niggas dying, bro. Sacrifice for behind this shit, bro. So you know what I'm saying? It's a, it's a long way. It's a long as rabbit hole goes deep, so you know what I'm saying? Like to the youngins, bro, just if you really want it, my nigga, then fuck it. Go for it, my nigga. But, you know what I'm saying? If you really want to be there for your family and shit like that, my nigga, you know what I'm saying? Do what's right. Word up. That's all I got to say. And, and what is some more advice that you can give to the youth? Because, you know, like, the youth listens to a lot of, like, you know, older people's music. You now know? I don't want to be a contradiction, yeah. too, because, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to change the narrative of my music. Word up. I'm working on it. Like, I'm working on it. To be honest, like, I'm, I'm going to change it. But like, advice to the youth, bro, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's cold as fuck, bro. But advice to the youth, son, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, be yourself, bro. Be your fucking self, bro. Like, word up. I wasn't myself. Now I'm in a position where I got to be somebody I want to be. You know what I'm saying? Like, be yourself. You know what I'm saying? Because now I don't got no option, bro. Like, uh, this is what it is, bro. Be yourself, bro, like, you know what I'm saying? You still got chances to be you, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you living a certain type of life, you know what I'm saying? Cut it out, bro. You still got chances to go to school. There's still shit out here that you could, you know what I'm saying? Be righteous, my nigga, you know what I'm saying? Do it the right way. Because you don't got to worry about nobody, you know what I'm saying? If you don't fucking say, you saying you doing it the right way, they're going to leave you alone. But everybody want to be a demon. The demon's going to come and get you, get you eventually, you know what I'm saying? So... I'm saying, do what you gotta do the right way. You know what I'm saying? And I know you said like you, you want to change like the narrative of your like your music. So like going forward, like what are your plans to, to make it? You know, so it's not like that. <laughs> no, I don't speak of my plans, but you know what I'm saying, motherfuckers gonna hear it. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be speaking on real shit. You know what I'm saying? I might get turned down for it. You know what I'm saying? But like I don't give a fuck because that's what I do. I can still make my music. You know what I'm saying? Sound good, you know what I'm saying, but I'm about to change the narrative of my music, but I'm just telling my story, being real, you know what I'm saying, just telling my story in a more positive way, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, like, I don't gotta rap about killing, rap about making money, Lil Baby, rap about making money, you know what I'm saying, Gunna, rap about being fly, niggas don't rap about killing, you know what I'm saying, so, be different, you know what I'm saying, stand out, niggas say they wanna stand out, but rap about the same shit. To be different, bro. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm finna do. Be different, gangster. So, like, you would say, like, going forward, your music would be, like, more positive. Say what? So, like, what you're saying, like, going forward, your music's gonna be more positive. Music's not gonna be positive fully, but I'm gonna be talking shit, and then I'm gonna be talking my feelings, but it's gonna be better than drill. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, I'm gonna still be making people feel it, because you, what you're gonna feel from my music is not always a, a positive feeling. You're gonna feel pain. That's positive? Yeah. So, I mean, positive and not dissing people or yeah, talking exactly. about killing word, and stuff like word, that. Word, 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 definitely. Okay. Definitely. Word up. And, like, describe, like, a day for you in the studio. I, I think I saw you was at the studio last night. So, word. how was that? So, like, this be, like, it's seasonal for me, bro. Like, real artists know, like, you feeling this type of way during the first, during a, during a certain te a season of your life. Then you gonna be rapping about that certain type of shit. You're rapping, you you going through this uh, another type of season in your life where you are going through some heartbroken shit. You're gonna be rapping about heartbroken shit. You're going through a season where you're on the streets and shit. Your life changes, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? So you know you don't know about artists. You know what I'm saying? So because artists' music change. When motherfuckers get rich, their music change. You know what I'm saying? When motherfuckers broke, they 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 rapping about shit that they doing at the current time, current moment, so we're up, so you know what I'm saying? Hey, do you freestyle or do you write your music like freestyle like punch in or do you write your music prior to getting to the studio? Preferably I'll write. I don't really freestyle like that. I could like if I'm turned up and I'm comfortable enough and I'm daddy, I'll be off the henny and shit like that. Like I'll be freestyling and shit but you know it just all depends on the moment and shit like that. Cause it's like, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes I could, sometimes I, I can't, you know what I'm saying? Or that's really how it is with me. But I really preferably write though. Like I write all my shit, you know what I'm saying? 
because I take my time with my shit. Yeah, like, what's your process for making a song? Take me like, I'll be writing like four songs in one day. And how how long it take you to make one song? Like uh, two hours. Okay. An hour. Depending on what I want to talk about. You know, how much I want to talk about. And do you, um... Okay. And what's, the, what, what's the most challenging part of, like, making music? Most challenging part about making music? Yeah, like, trying to ask what. Most challenging part about making music... is promotion. Getting that out there. You know what I'm saying? Like, your shit could be better than the industry nigga shit, but if you don't got enough promotion or enough support, motherfuckers not going, you know what I'm saying? You're not going to reach the level that you want to reach. It's just about, you know what I'm saying, being determined and shit like that. If, even if it takes yourself, you be doing your own shit, it's going to take a little longer, but that's the most challenging part, basically, you know what I'm saying? Promoting your shit. And, motherfucker, I don't know, like, if this is another challenging part for anybody else, but my, my like, my challenging part, you know what I'm saying, like, just, like, organizing everything, you know what I'm saying, like, I'm just going to organize and shit, you know what I'm saying, I'll just be throwing shit out there and shit like that, you know what I'm saying, but I don't get my, I don't know what motherfuckers know what I'm talking about, but that's basically what's challenging about me when it comes to music. Yeah, just getting it out there. So like right now, like what's your like? How do you promote your music right now? Instagram, what's your process? Instagram. I use other people pages and shit too. Like I be asking people like like local artists in here to be post my shit. I be having like mad followers from this city and shit. There's mad people. There's like millions of people in this city. So motherfuckers got hella followers here and shit. So I moved there. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. promote like get your shit out there. It's easier when you come here. You motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Fuck with your shit. You think you get more support like in another state than your own state in it's your own like town? <laughs> it's always like that, you know what I'm saying? Like mostly I don't get no likes from Jersey people, mostly New York people that like my shit, so yeah. it's definitely like that, you know what I'm saying? But like no hard feelings, you know what I'm saying? So, like I was saying, like either people don't wanna like your shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? It's just is what it is, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm just on some shit like I'm gonna get it anyway. Whether you like my shit or not, I'm gonna get it anyway. You know what I'm saying? And how do you like living in New York? No. You know what I'm saying? Way better experience. You know what I'm saying? People like way better out here when it comes to like support and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, like there's more to do out here. You know what I'm saying? Like. Shit just more lit out here, you know what I'm yeah. saying? So not really much to do in, in my city, you know what I'm saying? It's just everything close in my city, so just had to step out and shit, you know, and I was my name was getting bigger and shit like that, so motherfuckers was on my top. So I just had to vacate, you know what I'm saying? I'd be there, you know what I'm saying, back and forth, but I gotta move like a celebrity <laughs> when I go there. Yeah. Would you move back to Jersey? Nah. 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 And what's some new content you have coming out for the year? Got a lot of shit coming out. A lot of different shit. Peculiar shit, you know? Shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, motherfuckers not gonna expect from me. Heard up. So just motherfuckers gotta tune in. You know what I'm saying? Because I got hella heat in the making. You have, like, you have any visuals dropping? Where I need to start, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, word up. I don't think you don't have no visuals yet. No right? visuals, okay. word what, up. What's holding you back from doing the uh, visuals? I'm about to actually, I might do a visual like, soon coming up. I'm not going to say no dates and shit like that, but soon. Word up, real, real soon. Real soon. Do you have any certain cameraman you look forward to working with, or just nah, whoever? Not specifically. Okay. Yeah, that's specific. You got any dates for like any singles, like, like any mixtapes, any future dates like within the next month or two that you dropping music? No, I got some shit. I just 
grew up on my Instagram, some drill shit, I did with uh, Cardi B shit. Motherfuckers got to go look at that shit, you know what I'm saying? That shit fire. Or two. And you got a date for that or not yet? Not yet, but you know what I'm saying? That shit is some heat. That shit is a bump. As of right now, like how many unreleased songs would you say you got? A lot. Like 50. And like what's holding you from dropping that? Apple Music. I gotta be able, cause Apple Music keeps denying my shit. So mm. I gotta get somebody, you know what I'm saying? That's just know that I got this heat coming out soon, you know what I'm saying? The motherfuckers been touring it. So let the people know like where they can find your music. Go on the Instagram, top up job, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully she leave my shit in the in a video somewhere. But top up job on the ground. Be dropping most of my music. And you'll be notified from my Instagram. Like, what yeah. platforms you got it on as of right now? I'm gonna put it on SoundCloud, mm -hmm. put it on Spotify, Apple Music, all of that. So you got some stuff on SoundCloud right now? Yeah. Okay. Oh, shout your uh, shop SoundCloud. My uh, SoundCloud is Top Op Jug. Same, as, same way as my Instagram name type. Hopefully she leave my shit in the fucking video somewhere, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't want people to really fuck with my shit. Jersey, you know what I'm saying, really need to fuck on my shit because I feel like they're not fucking my shit like they should be. You know what I'm saying? But side though. And do you have any like Jersey artists that you might want to collab with? No. Not no. yet. You know okay. what I'm saying? I'm just on some dolo shit. Just building my shit, my platform right now. You know what I'm saying? That's some doing some dolo shit right now. You got any collabs out? Yeah. Nah, yeah, actually, I got a celebrity collab with this girl named Denise. And then go check her out. She got a million followers on the ground. My name is Denise. Or I got a celebrity future with her. And that's out yet? Celebrity, yeah, that's out. Okay. It's called We Ain't the Same. Okay. It's called Karma, actually. Word up. And I got some shit. I got some shit I did with Dirt Producer. His name is Brandon Thomas. He did one of my songs. It's called What Is Love. We'll fuck with that shit, too. You know what I'm saying? That's on my SoundCloud. You know what I'm saying? Soon to be on Apple Music, Spotify and shit. You know what I'm saying? But shit on my SoundCloud right now. Okay. And when will you say like you'll have that all on all streaming platforms by? Soon. Mm -hmm. Just in the, you know what I'm saying? Upcoming artists, you know what I'm saying? And like you got a certain stu studio that you be going to? Or like certain engineer? I'll be going to uh, Plug Studios, DSN. DSN in the Bronx, DSN. Plug in the Bronx, fuck in the Bronx studios, you know what I'm saying? It's all about quality. I've been coming out before I even, you know what I'm saying? Before I even moved out here, I've been was coming out here too. Hurry it up. Before I moved out here, I was coming out here for the quality and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Because Jersey just wasn't, you know what I'm saying? And what's your engineer? What engineer you go by? So Who your engineer? So Uno. That's really it. My son Uno be finessing all my shit. And my son Brandon Thomas, dirt producer. Okay. And what studio he, uh, he's at? He's, yeah, he ain't, he just a, you know what I'm saying? He just an engineer, producer, you know what I'm saying? He did my shit for the low because he fucked with my voice. But, you know what I'm saying? I ran into him out here. If you want to run into Doors Opportunity out here, you know what I'm saying? Here's the best place to be. Mm -hmm. You don't know who you're going to run into. You know what I'm saying? You do your camera shit, so you know you. Take pictures and shit, you know what I'm saying? You don't know who you're going to maybe. Yeah, that's true. Word and up. like, how was your experience working with him? Motherfucking no, shit was fire, you know what I'm saying? I started learning how to do auto tune when I, when I started, you know what I'm saying? When I started fucking with him. Hold up. And how do you feel about auto tune? You know, a lot of people say they don't, they, they don't like it. I feel like it helps, like, the voice, you know? Reach the levels that a regular voice might not yeah, be able to reach. Yeah, just equalize my melodies and my voice and shit like that. But I could really, like, you know what I'm saying, sound like, sound good without the auto tune. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't need it, but it just sound like, you know what I'm saying, fire. You know what I'm saying? That's the wave right now. So, you know what I'm saying? Fuck it. Thanks, man. So you use all the tune in all your songs or just some of them? Just some of them. I don't need it. Just need to refill my bread. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some of it. 
And do you have a manager? Someone that manages you? Or no? Nah. Yeah. All independent. All managers. You feel like having a manager is important though? Yeah. You like to do everything? I'm a businessman, so I can do it myself. You know okay. what I'm saying? Well, what are some of your hobbies outside of making music? Fucking. <laughs> Say nah. <laughs> hey, yo. I like. Like, just going to nature and shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, I be going to go, like, to motherfucking, like, beaches. I be going to, like, motherfucking, like, like woods and shit, walking around. Shh, niggas don't do shit like that, you know what I'm saying? So, just to meditate. Yeah. Shit that's on my mind and shit like that. Just go on nature, just go on, you know what I'm saying? Cause that shit going, you know what I'm saying? Make you calm. I'm saying it's an escape. Instead of drugs, you know what I'm saying? Even though you be off the drugs, that's a better escape. And like being in New York City, like you feel like how you like living out here? Like I know you said there's a lot of opportunities. Like you do a lot out here in New York. Or I do a lot. Too much. <laughs> Word up, I'll be a bitch in there. Hella opportunity, bro. Like, it's just my city ain't supporting me, but you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna get there. I lost my page. My page was actually at a decent number of followers, but I'm rebuilding my shit back right now and shit yeah. like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's my year. It's, it's my year. Facts. Do you have any upcoming like shows or anything? Any dates for your supporters and all that? I don't think I'm really gonna fuck with shows in like a minute. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing everything, taking my time yeah. and shit. Bro. But you know, shows get you get, get, can get you heard from like other people from different cities. You know? Or I know I'm gonna just take my time with it and shit like that. You know, I'm gonna definitely do shows and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying like the process and shit. You know what I'm saying take my time. You know what I'm saying because. I gotta make sure I'm ready for shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Ready. Word up. But I'll make my, I'm gonna make my money off my streams and shit like that. I'm gonna start throwing my shit on Spotify. Mm -hmm. Word up. Soon, definitely. Mm, who are your top five artists in Jersey that you rocking with? I haven't even been fucking with Jersey artists like that, bro. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm not even gonna lie, bro, gangster. But my son Elzo Bands, he passed away. I fuck with Elzo, bro. Uh, uh, who else out there making some fire shit? No, my son Gunner too. He was making some fire shit too. I fuck with Gunner. Y'all niggas know Gunner. You know Gunner, right? Yeah. Who else out there? I don't really know, you know what I'm saying? But I could name niggas I fuck with out here, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you wanna know that. Cause I don't really be in tune with the Jersey shit like, since I moved out here. Word up. So I shout out some niggas I fuck with out here and shit like that. Word up. So, so you, I know you said like Jersey don't support Jersey, but you saying you don't listen to Jersey, so. I do support Jersey and shit yeah, like that. But, but it's just like, to Jersey I, artists. I haven't been out there, so it was like the music is, like, I, I haven't been out there for some years. Like, I've been out here for like, Three years, I'm going into four years, so okay, okay. I haven't been in tune because I haven't really been living there and shit like that. So like everything I've been listening to is New York drill and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So like I fuck with Jersey music though. You know what I'm saying? Like I really just don't know a lot of. And then the niggas that I do know in Jersey way, I don't fuck with. And I do know that rap, I don't really fuck with. So okay. I'm not even gonna speak on the names, but I'm not gonna say no names. You know what I'm saying? So, but other than that, you know what I'm saying? Like. And there's some niggas out there, or the FDG niggas I fuck with. I forgot the nigga name. Niggas ain't bundles. <laughs> I fuck with that nigga. Like, he, he be in some fire shit. I think he be out here too. Word up. And other than that, I don't really be fucking with no niggas in, you know what I'm saying, Jersey and shit like that. Word And what's some of, like, your plans and your goals for you? Uh, music wise. Just, you know what I'm saying? Like, basically, music wise, I just want to be first rapper to be a role model. You know how the nigga Soldier Boy be like, first rapper to be all this shit. You know what I'm saying? I wanna be the first rapper to be a role model, son. Like, I wanna stand out, I wanna stick out, you know what I'm saying? Like my son Pop, that was one of my big inspirations too. I wanted to say that, Pop, Easy e you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, Soup Dog, even though they don't fuck with each other. 
Death Row music, all them niggas, you know what I'm saying? All the old shit. My inspiration too, you know what I'm saying? So what up? I wanna be, you know what I'm saying, a, a leader though. Fuck having the most likes. Fuck having the most money. I'm not in competition with no nigga. And motherfuckers wanna be in competition with me because you ask me how I'm top up and how I got all these problems and shit. It's cause of competition, bro. Niggas know there's a lot of competition out here. I want no competition with nobody, bro. All I want, you know what I'm saying, is it's for my people, you know what I'm saying? That's how I look at it. That's how I look at it. Motherfuckers got other, you know what I'm saying, motives. It's for my people at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? Like, I want to wake up my people and shit like that, and my music and shit like that by saying certain shit in my music, like, bro, like, some advice and shit. It's about, you know what I'm saying, like, enlightening the people. So, fuck having fame, yeah. fuck having money. Fuck all that shit. Cause it ain't about that. You know what I'm saying? With me. But that's how niggas look at it. A lot of niggas got it that way. And I don't look at it that way. Fair enough. Mm, what was one message that you would give to your, to your supporters? Uh, I don't got much, but the support I get, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I get a lot of support out here, though. But, like, the support, you know what I'm saying? Like, no cap. I do get a lot of support out here, but. Like, all my supporters, you know what I'm saying? Like, I fucks with y'all, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, y'all motivate me, you know what I'm saying? And, you know what I'm saying? It makes me it makes me go harder and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? More some more fuel to go harder and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? So, word up. I'm thankful for that. I appreciate it. I show gratitude to my supporters, you know what I'm saying? Some motherfuckers be just dubbing their supporters, you know what I'm saying? You should, you know what I'm saying? You should be, you should cherish the motherfuckers. I just saw somebody knock out the nigga NLE Chopper, <laughs> young boy fan, you know what I'm saying? So motherfucking supporters really be rocking out for them, you know what I'm saying? Word up. So niggas would do shit for you that your own homies wouldn't even do. That's facts though, right? That's facts though, right? Word up. That's facts. Niggas talking, look, y'all know that's facts. <laughs> nigga hooked, that nigga, nigga got hooked and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? He got hooked. Whole fan shit, you know yeah, what I'm saying? That's how you want your fans to be over you. That's how they is gonna be over me if they fuck with you that much. Yeah. Word up. That's what I'm saying. Word up. So I'm just saying like that's 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 what like you know what I'm saying. They fuck with you enough. That's the extent they gonna go to. You know what I'm saying. So you know what I'm saying to rock with you. Word up. I'm sure the nigga the young boy ain't even know him. Word up. So word up. That's what I'm saying. So like for the rest of the year, like you say, we can hear more music from you, new visuals and everything like that with the next few months? Uh, word, word up. We got hella shit coming out, man, so we niggas better stay in tune. Hella shit, bro, like different shit, peculiar shit, you know what I'm saying?